Hello and welcome to Elvatex channel. Today we have an interesting video because we're gonna bring you some colors and we will discuss lead in paint analysis. So we are visiting an official representative of Benjamin Moore in Ukraine and we are going to test their paints for lead. Hello ladies, how are you? In today's world, there is a strong focus on quality and safety in all aspects of our life. And one hidden but significant health risk is the use of lead in paint for both domestic and industrial purposes. Lead as the heavy metal offers a beneficial properties as it enhancing paint's durability and its brightness. However, it possesses a substantial threat for humans' life, especially for children. Lead can damage uh, the central nervous system, can cause anemia, kidney and bones uh, tissue problems, and also can be a cause of serious diseases. Known to humanity since Bronze Age, lead was widely used for bronze production, as well as for household and interior by ancient Babylonians, Egyptians and Romans. But despite its unique properties, lead has an ability to accumulate in human's body over the time, which makes it particularly dangerous. Despite the existing restriction in bands, lead is still extensively used in such products as paint, leaded pipe and radiation shields, and also in production of glass, ceramics, solder and tin alloys. Modern society is striving to combat the use of this toxic element in materials to protect the human's health. For example, leaded paint is banned in Europe and it's controlled by ROHS rocks regulations and also in the United States it controls by various laws and EPA Environmental Protection Agency. Key regulations include Toxic Substances Control Act TSCA, the Residential Lead-Based Paint Hazardous Reduction Act of uh, 1992, and the Lead Renovation, Repair and Painting Program, so it's RRP Act. It is impossible to detect a lead contamination in paint without the specialized equipment. If you have any concerns or doubts about the contamination of lead, it's better to test it. And the XRF method is the most convenient method for uh, lead testing, especially in paints. This method allows for an on-site control uh, without the need of sample collection and preparation. And it is accurate and very fast. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development HUD, mandates a dust testing after the renovation using the XRF device, as it provides an analysis in a second with the more than 95% of accuracy. So, now let's see how this method works in practice. Here we have a drawing which actually has the five layers and you can see the different brightness and it means the different contaminations of this paint. And we will check at least three of these layers uh, using the Prospector 3. First of all, we need to select the lead in paint calibration and we will set up our analysis for like duration will be 10 seconds. All right, as we set it up everything correctly, uh, now we can make a measurements. And let's start with the first layer, which is gonna be the brightest from all three of them. Just position the device and the camera will help us to see the spot area. And then we can just start with it. So as you can see, the result of the uh, lead is zero point zero 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 one uh, milligram for square centimeter and now let's move to the second layer 
All right, and after second analysis, we have the same picture as we got 0.0001 milligram for square centimeter. And now we are moving to the third and the most darkest layer. And here we have 0.0001 milligram for square centimeter. So basically, we can say that uh, the brightness or darkness doesn't matter because uh, if the quality of paint is good, you know, it will show anyway the, the minimal contamination of lead. So, as you just seen, using the handheld XRF analyzer and Prospector 3 in particular can bring you a lot of different benefits. So, first of all, the analysis are fast and accurate. You don't have to make any sample preparation or, uh, you know, make an analysis on the field. It can analyze both an interior and exterior. And the most important, the, the subject of analysis could be different shapes and different sizes. If you would like to get more information about our analyzers and also lead and paint analysis, you can contact our managers by the email or phone that you can find below. Also, to receive a new videos, just subscribe to our channel. You can press the subscribe button below. To receive the notifications, you can press the bell. And also, just like this video if you enjoyed it. And that's how we will know that we would need to make new videos. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and see you soon.